The movie begins with George and his family as they embark on the journey of moving into a new house. However, much to their disappointment, there is no electricity, and the meager food supply fails to satisfy their hunger. Despite these circumstances, their mother encourages them to be grateful and thankful to God. While lying in bed, George finds it hard to believe his mother's words. In a conversation with Alan, George is warned not to lash out at anyone on his first day of school due to his nervous nature. The following day, as George enters the classroom, he becomes the subject of curious gazes from his classmates due to his appearance. When he tries to answer the teacher's question, she dismisses him without giving him a chance. During lunchtime, George finds himself sitting alone without any food while others around him enjoy their meals. A fellow student starts bullying George, which triggers his anger, leading to a physical confrontation. In a rush to escape the situation, George flees when the teacher arrives. Years later, we find him and his friend observing a bar. They decide to follow a seemingly intoxicated man and attempt to rob him. To their surprise, the man turns out to be an undercover policeman, leading to an unexpected ambush. As a police car arrives, George takes cover in the sewer pipes. The police, accompanied by a sniffer dog, search for him but fail to detect his presence as he discreetly covers himself with sewage. Once George manages to make his way back home, he comes across a facility where food and drinks are offered for free. Intrigued by what he witnesses, he discovers that this institution is a place where people's talents are recognized, nurtured, and, in return, they work for the establishment. Excited, George shares his discovery with his mother and expresses his desire to travel to this institution. His mother supports and encourages him, allowing him to pursue this opportunity. The following day, George arrives at the institution and is provided with the official uniform. The guard informs him about the rules and regulations of the place. As he enters a room, he notices the new pair of shoes his mother had bought for him. Intriguingly, one of them, called Marsh, starts playing music, provoking George's annoyance, causing him to promptly turn off the music. When lunchtime arrived, he was taken aback to discover his shoes were missing, stolen without a trace. Inside the bustling dining hall, his eyes fell upon the thief casually sporting his stolen footwear. Fueled by a mix of anger and determination, he gave chase, hot on the thief's heels. However, as the thief disappeared behind a closed door, frustration surged through him. Without hesitation, he forcefully broke through the barrier, launching an attack, teetering dangerously close to throwing the culprit out the window. Just as the situation reached its boiling point, Duck intervened, swiftly diffusing the escalating conflict. In the aftermath, his gaze landed on the shattered door, a stark reminder of his rage. Seizing the opportunity to assist, he offered the him a ride in his car, the file serving as a revealing introduction to his troubled past, three previous fights leading to rejection. Moved by his desperate pleas, Doc provided him with the funds for a ticket. George implored Doc, emphasizing that this institution represented his last shred of hope, a place he couldn't bear to leave defeated. Touched by his heartfelt words, Doc empathized and agreed to accompany him back to the institution. Recognizing George's hidden strength, Doc extended an invitation to join their club. Unbeknownst to George, Doc was not just a sympathetic figure. He was the coach. Eagerly accepting the offer, George stepped into the gym and faced off against a formidable opponent, only to falter. Amidst the mocking from onlookers, Doc remained steadfast, offering guidance and instruction. Driven by frustration, George stepped out from the ring and unleashed his anger on a punching bag surprising everyone with his raw power. Impressed by his display, Doc continued training him, providing encouragement and support. In a moment of triumph, George dialed his mother, excitedly sharing his newfound passion for boxing. Concerned, she pleaded with him to steer clear of fighting. George reassured her, emphasizing that boxing was more than mere brawling. It was a sport governed by rules. Encountering the person he had met earlier, George confronted him, landing a decisive blow that sent him crashing to the ground. Doc, witnessing the remarkable performance, couldn't help but be impressed. Eager to pursue competitive matches, George approached Doc, expressing his desire. However, the coach reminded him that he was still a novice, requiring further training. Inquiring about the tournament's earliest date, George learned it was a year away, leaving him with ample time to hone his skills. Undeterred by the delayed opportunity, he committed to the grueling training that lay ahead. A year later, the moment arrived. George took center stage in the tournament, facing off against a formidable Russian boxer. Watching from their living room, his family beamed with pride as the fight commenced, a symphony of cheers enveloping the arena. With each calculated strike, George gained the upper hand until he claimed an effortless victory, securing the coveted gold medal. Overwhelmed with joy, he proudly raised the American flag, a testament to his unwavering determination 
and newfound success. His family couldn't believe their eyes as they witnessed their 19-year-old brother secure his first gold medal. The day after his triumph, proudly adorned with the precious medal, he met up with his friends. Their curious minds questioned why he raised the American flag, given the ongoing issues of racial injustice. His anger propelled him back to his mother, who offered soothing words to calm his emotions. Revealing his plan to participate in an upcoming tournament at the airport, he couldn't help but be distracted by a beautiful girl who had captured his attention, Paula. Gathering the courage, he approached her, and they exchanged phone numbers, setting the foundation for a blossoming connection. In the company of Doc, George delved into the world of professional training, meeting the seasoned pro Sadler and Coach Moore. His eyes were fixated on Sonny, a remarkable boxer donning a black belt, as they trained together. As George embraced the rigorous training, he also found time to get to know Paula better, and their bond deepened, eventually leading to love. Participating in qualifying matches, George's dominance earned him recognition and fame, culminating in a decision to tie the knot with Paula. With each triumph, George inched closer to the ultimate challenge, the final match. His opponent, a professional boxer who had previously defeated Muhammad Ali, was expected to win easily. The atmosphere was electric, with chance filling the air for the opponent. However, George drew strength from the wisdom imparted by his coaches. During the fight, he experienced an unexpected blow from his adversary, but he swiftly retaliated, landing a powerful punch that sent his opponent sprawling to the canvas. The crowd was awestruck by George's display of strength. As the second round commenced, George maintained control, delivering a barrage of punches. In a moment of sheer determination, triumphantly, George claimed the championship title, an honor well-deserved. Doc, aware of George's potential from the beginning, couldn't contain his happiness, knowing that this young man would become a hero in his own right, now destined for fame. Following his victory, George took on Arch as his manager, recognizing his sharp mathematical acumen. The two struck an agreement. Amidst his newfound fame, he couldn't escape the watchful eyes of the media learning that boxer Muhammad Ali had made jest of him. Filled with determination, he expressed to the announcer his unwavering resolve to face George one day and emerge victorious. George gathered his family and together they rejoiced in his remarkable success. However, amidst the celebrations, his focus seemed to waver, disregarding his responsibilities towards his wife. Complications arose when fans began to drive a wedge between them, causing turmoil in their relationship. His wife, feeling neglected, voiced her discontent as she noticed the changes in him. Embarking on a significant journey, George set out to participate in a high-stakes tournament, pitting himself against the legendary Muhammad Ali. The anticipation among the crowd was palpable, yet George couldn't help but observe Ali's mocking gestures, openly taunting him before everyone. Despite the provocation, George chose to maintain his composure, refusing to engage in a war of words. The spectators believed in George's victory, recognizing his immense strength. As the match commenced, George made a pivotal decision to fight in his own distinctive style, disregarding the guidance of his coaches. Initially, he showcased control and dominance, but his ego and arrogance began to overshadow his focus, allowing Ali to seize control of the bout. Frustration grew evident in his corner, with Duck expressing his disappointment at George's lack of concentration, resorting to haphazard punches. Ultimately, Muhammad Ali emerged triumphant, leaving the audience in disbelief. Attempting to find solace and understanding, George sought comfort in his family. However, his wife made a heartbreaking revelation, expressing her desire for a divorce, signaling the irreparable damage inflicted upon their relationship. Seeking guidance, he turned to his mother, who questioned why he had strayed from the path of success. George, burdened with guilt, took full responsibility for his failure, believing himself to be the architect of his own downfall. Motivated to prove himself once again, he resolved to face not one, but five formidable opponents, determined to showcase his true strength and skill. Among the gathered boxers was Muhammad Ali, ever the provocateur, who dismissed George's challenge, refusing to engage with someone he deemed a defeated competitor. George then found himself in the presence of Doc, who offered invaluable advice to help him regain his former self. Amidst his quest for redemption, a message reached George, notifying him of his sister Mary's critical condition in the hospital as she prepared to give birth. His mother urged them to pray to God, and in a moment of profound remorse, George fervently sought forgiveness and divine intervention. He pleaded with God, offering his own life in exchange for the safety of his sister's child. Miraculously, after a tense period, Mary and her newborn emerged in good health, defying the expectations of the doctors. She attributed their survival to George's prayers, convinced that God had answered his desperate plea. As days passed, George found himself facing another opponent. After his defeat against Muhammad Ali, murmurs spread throughout the boxing community 
suggesting that George was no longer the same fighter. The truth was undeniable. He had indeed lost the match. Doc, his trainer, found himself at a loss, unsure of how to handle George's anger and frustration. Overwhelmed, George lashed out, demanding everyone to stop talking until he collapsed, teetering on the brink of death. Miraculously, he survived, awakening to the news that they had believed him to be dead. Moved by this near-death experience, George felt a newfound sense of faith, leading him to seek solace in the church. He shared his story, emphasizing the importance of believing in the existence of God. Motivated by this spiritual awakening, he made the monumental decision to retire from boxing, dedicating his life to serving God and the church. Upon revealing his retirement to Doc, disbelief washed over him. Doc desperately tried to convince George to reconsider, urging him to return to the boxing ring. However, George stood firm in his resolve, unwavering in his decision. Turning to Muhammad Ali, a surprising new chapter unfolded as the two former adversaries forged a bond of friendship. Seeking reconciliation, George approached his wife and sincerely apologized. Although she accepted his apology, she made it clear that she would not return to him. Later, in the church, in a twist of fate, George's heart was captured by a new love interest, a girl who stirred his emotions. Seizing the opportunity, he took the microphone, standing before the church, delivering words of wisdom and guidance to the congregation. Eager to spend time with Jenny, the woman he had fallen for, George whisked her away to an old closed church. Inspired, he made the decision to reopen the church, breathing life back into its sacred halls. A decade later, George had become a respected pastor, providing counsel and guidance to those in need. A mother approached him, asking him to teach her son boxing, but George declined. A heartwarming sight unfolds as we witness George's presence alongside his loving wife, Jenny, and their beautiful children, a snapshot of pure family bliss. While catching up on the news, George's attention is captivated by a story featuring a child whose mother sought boxing lessons for him, only to find the young one entangled in accusations of theft. Overwhelmed by remorse for not agreeing to train the child earlier, George's determination ignites, propelling him to invest countless hours into reviving an abandoned gym, harboring regrets about a missed opportunity. This fueled his determination to reopen an old gym, pouring significant funds into its renovation. As the young people began flocking to the newly reopened gym, disaster struck. The electricity was abruptly cut off due to unpaid bills. George hurried to the bank, only to be met with an astonishing revelation. His bank account was empty, a devastating blow to his aspirations. Desperate to save the sports club from closure, George faced a harsh reality. The club's financial troubles were due to Irish's betrayal and reckless gambling. Fueled by anger, he confronted Irish, delivering a powerful blow before walking away. Determined to gather funds for the gym, George explored the option of doing advertisements. But his wife delivered the sobering news that the amount raised fell short of the required sum. Reluctantly, George found himself with no choice but to return to boxing. Although Jenny opposed the idea, he managed to convince her of its necessity. Approaching Doc, George expressed his desire to make a comeback in the boxing ring. Doc cautioned him about the challenges ahead, citing concerns about his age and weight. However, George's determination remained unwavering. Doc agreed to train him once again, on the condition that George shed the excess weight. Embracing a rigorous exercise regimen, George devoted himself to daily training sessions, ultimately achieving his desired weight. With newfound confidence, George stepped into the ring for his comeback fight, defying expectations as he emerged victorious. The media buzzed with excitement, and George's triumph became a topic of discussion on television programs. Soon after, he received an invitation to compete in the prestigious Golden Bell Championship. Although he suffered a loss, the crowd rallied behind him, recognizing his indomitable spirit. Determined to settle his debts, George secured substantial earnings through his advertisements and subsequent matches, allowing him to repay the club's financial obligations. Buoyed by this success, he faced another formidable opponent, a young champion. George's experience proved decisive, enabling him to deliver a devastating punch that secured victory. Admirers marveled at George's incredible journey, acknowledging him as the boxing champion despite his advanced age. The movie ends here. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe Mango Recap for more video like this and help the channel grow.